Hello everyone. So today we will see about software and its types. So the contents that we are going to cover in this particular session are definition of software, types of software, system software, operating system, language processor, device drivers, application software and utility software. So first we will see what is a software. So software is a set of instructions, data or programs used to operate computers and execute specific tasks. So it is a collection of programs or you can say instructions through which we can execute or perform some task on a computer. So in the figure we can see hardware is the core outer area is system software and the extreme outer area is application software. The types of software. So software we have three different types basic types. One is system software. Second one is application software. Third one is utility software. So in system software we come across operating system language processors and device types. So first we'll see what exactly is a system software. So it is a software that is required to run the hardware parts of the computer and other application software. So that is a base for a computer to run or to start we can say. So what are the different types of system software. So as I told already operating system language processes device drivers. Okay. So we can see how exactly the relationship between the user and the software in a computer is given here as you can see in the diagram. So user interact with the user interface through application program he interacts with the operating system that is a system software and then he interacts with the computer hardware. Now we'll see what exactly is operating system. So by the name only we can say operating system is used to operate the computer or the system. So it is responsible for functioning of all hardware parts and their interoperability to carry out tasks successfully. So there are different types of softwares, I mean operating systems available like Windows, Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8, Linux, then Mac OS, etc. So the process of loading, normally when we start up the computer, this operating system software will be located in the storage device that will be loaded onto a main memory. So this process is normally referred as a booting process. So that is referred as booting. So the different functions of operating system are process management, device management, file management and resource management. Next we'll go to language processor. So what exactly is a language processor? So again language processor is a system software which converts all user instruction into machine language or machine equivalent codes you can say. So whatever we give a command to a computer that command is converted to machine equivalent. So that is done through these language processors. So before I go to language we should know what exactly or which type of language we are going to use to interact with the software. So what exactly is a programming language? So I can say a programming language can be a sequence of instructions. So what it can be termed in terms of human language, we can say an algorithm or in terms of computer language, it can be treated as a program. So we have to write the program using some language and that program is executed or that program works on a computer. Now coming to the levels of computer languages, 
we have three different types or you can say levels one is machine level language assembly level language the third one is high level language so the machine language is basically comprising of binary digits so it uses zeros and ones to interact with the computer so the language is only two digits that is zero and ones so it doesn't have any other statements or anything it uses only numbers a combinations of ones or a combination of zeros and ones or only combination of zeros or ones is used to interact with the computer the second type is assembly level language which uses mnemonic names for machine operations mnemonic names in the sense maybe a some a fixed commands or codes that is used to represent some task okay so here it is machine dependent so a code is machine dependent so one code may work for one machine the other code may not work the same code may not work for all the machines so you have to have a different codes for different machines the third type of language is high level language so here the language is machine independent and it is readable so the language which uses english like statements so the examples are c and c plus plus java etc now we'll go to translators so as we have seen three types of programming languages so when we write any program so there should be some system which converts this programming language to a machine equivalent because machine can understand only machine language so if you write a program in assembly level or high level or any other language but a machine can understand only a machine language so we have some set of translators which are used to convert the given programming language to a machine equivalent so the first is assembler which converts assembly level language to the machine level language or the program written in machine uh, assembly language is converted to machine language same way we have interpreter it converts high level programs to a machine level program but here it converts or it translates line by line similarly we have compiler which converts high level programs into machine level programs at one shot that is together the whole program is compiled rather than line by line. so that is a major difference between interpreter and compiler so normally used in high level languages next we'll go to device drivers so we normally uh, install a pc and we want to add up some devices to our system or to a computer we normally need something called as device drivers so device drivers these are the system software that controls and monitors the functioning of specific device so for example if i want to connect a mouse additional mouse or if i want to use a printer to my computer so i have to install this device drivers that is a supporting software which supports this type of io units next we have something called as application software so what is an application software so a software that performs single or multiple tasks for a user is called application that is based on user requirement or based on user task if he wants to perform some specific task other than the the basic operations is referred as application softwares so few application softwares are given here word processing spreadsheet presentation database management multimedia tools etc the next is something called as utility software it's a third type in a software which is a software designed to help to analyze configure optimize or maintain a computer so this is a software which is over the application or over the system software which is a used basically to maintain so in terms of maintaining some parts of computer or you can say to analyze the status of a computer or the health condition of a computer 
so these can be used so normally it is a supporting software not exactly the main major software it's a minor part or minor smaller software which performs the supporting task so the examples are antivirus software backup tools file management tool and disk management. Thank you.